In this problem, we want to determine the sum given in sigma notation. We have the sum from k equals three to six of negative five times one fourth raised to the power of k minus one. Looking at the index, remember the number of terms is equal to the upper limit minus the lower limit and then plus one, which means there are only four terms in this series. So we'll find the sum two ways. We'll generate the four terms and then find the sum, but we should also be able to recognize we do have a geometric series here where the common ratio r is one fourth, so we'll also verify we get the same result by using the partial sum formula for a geometric series, which is shown here below. So let's first generate the four terms. The first value of k is three, and therefore the first term in the series is negative five times one fourth raised to the power of three minus one, which gives an exponent of two. And then we have plus the next value of k is four, so we have negative five times one fourth raised to the power of four minus one, which is three. And then we have plus the next value of k is five, giving us negative five times one fourth raised to the power of five minus one, which is four. And then finally we have plus the last value of k is six, giving us negative five times one fourth raised to the power of six minus one, which is five. And now let's simplify. The first term is negative five times one fourth squared. One fourth squared is one sixteenth, and therefore the first term is negative five sixteenths. And then we have plus negative five times one fourth cubed. One fourth cubed is one sixty fourth. Negative five times one sixty fourth is negative five sixty fourths. Plus for the next term, we have negative five times one fourth raised to the fourth power. One fourth to the fourth power is one over 256. Negative five times one over 256 is negative five over 256. And then for the last term, we have negative five times one fourth raised to the fifth. One fourth to the fifth is one over 1024 and therefore the product is negative five over 1024. And now let's go to the calculator and determine the sum. Let's convert the sum to a fraction by pressing math, enter, enter. The sum is negative 425 over 1024. But again, because we do have a geometric series, let's also use the partial sum formula for a geometric series shown here to verify we get the same result, where we have the partial sum of the first n terms of a geometric series is equal to a sub one times the quantity one minus r raised to the power of n divided by the quantity one minus r. Notice the first term in the geometric series is negative five sixteenths. Looking at the formula, we can see the common ratio r is one fourth. And n, the number of terms, we can see is four. Again, to determine the number of terms in sigma notation, we take the upper limit minus the lower limit and then we add one. Six minus three is three plus one is four. So the sum of the first four terms is equal to a sub one, which is negative five sixteenths, times the quantity one minus r raised to the power of n, which is one fourth raised to the fourth power. All this is divided by one minus r, which is one minus one fourth. And now let's go to the calculator and make sure we do get the same result. But remember on the calculator, we'll have to put the numerator and denominator in parentheses. So we have open parenthesis, negative five, divided by 16, open parenthesis, one minus, open parenthesis, one divided by four, close parenthesis, raised to the fourth, right arrow, close parenthesis for this set of parentheses, another close parenthesis for the numerator, and then divided by open parenthesis 
one minus one divided by four, close parenthesis, and enter. And notice how we do get the same decimal. So if we convert to a fraction by pressing math, enter, enter, of course we get the same result. Negative 425 over 1024. So because we only had four terms, the first method was probably faster, but if we had a lot more terms, it would probably be easier to use the partial sum formula. I hope you found this helpful.